Welcome to BirdEye's comprehensive guide on Google Business Profiles, formerly known as Google My Business. Today, we're going to talk about how to create, maintain, and optimize your business profile to help you stand out from the competition and show up on the first page of Google. Let's get started. One major benefit of having a Google Business Profile is search engine optimization. It helps your prospects find the information they need in order to become customers. That's because your business profile helps Google's algorithm understand the services that your business offers, and that translates to a higher search ranking. Your Google business profile is one of the most important factors when it comes to ranking well in Google local search results. That means without one, it's going to be really difficult for your business to rank higher than the competition. Most existing businesses will already have a Google business profile. However, only 44% of businesses have claimed their profile. This means that the majority of businesses are making it unnecessarily more difficult for customers to find them online. So let's go over how to claim your Google business profile. First, find your business on Google Maps by typing in your business's name and the city you're located in. Then. Click the button that says, Own This Business. If the listing has already been claimed by someone else, you have the option to either request access from the owner, or if you don't know who the owner is, you can appeal to Google. On the other hand, if the listing hasn't been claimed, a button will appear that says, Manage Now. Go ahead and click that. Once your profile is claimed, Google will send you a pin to verify that you are actually the owner of the business. Most business owners choose to receive the pin by postcard, which takes a few days depending on location. Email and phone verification are also available for select businesses. So, what if you have multiple locations? If you're running a business with multiple locations, consider creating a location group. This will allow you to easily manage all of your different locations. Here's how you can get started. To start the process, sign into your Google Business Profile account. Next, click Manage Locations. After this, you will need to create a location group. To do this, click on Create a Location Group and enter a name for the group. Then, click Create. If your business goes through a change in operations, like moving locations or getting a new phone number, you should update the information in your Google Business Profile in order to prevent any potential confusion. Here's how you can edit your information. Start by signing into your Google Business Profile. Then, click the Info tab in the menu. Here, you'll be able to change information like address and hours of operation. If your changes aren't visible right away, don't worry. In rare cases, it can take up to a couple of weeks for the changes to actually show up on your Google Business Profile. Let's talk about insights on your business profile. Google Business Profile Insights helps you understand how customers are interacting with your profile. Your profile allows you to see things such as search queries. These are the exact search terms that customers use to find your business. Consider adding commonly used search terms to your Google Business Profile description to help with SEO. Your profile insights also allow you to see where your customers view your business on Google. Your business profile shows detailed analytics about what Google services customers use to find your business. Primarily, you're listing in Google's search engine versus Google Maps. Customer actions. This section shows the most common actions that customers take on your listing, like visiting your website, requesting directions, or calling you. Direction requests. Customers can request directions to your business from your Google business profile listing. Your business profile shows you what zip codes these requests are coming from. This allows you to target your advertising accordingly. Phone calls. Want to know which hours your customers are calling you the most? Your business profile shows what time customers are calling the number that you have listed. Photo insights. Not sure if anyone's actually viewing the photos that you or your customers post on your business profile? There is a way to check. Google shows you how many views the photos posted on your profile have. Speaking of photos, don't forget to add them to your business profile. According to Google, businesses with photos get 42% more requests for driving directions and 35% more clicks to their website 
than businesses with no photos. A picture is worth a thousand words, and a great high-definition photo showing off business services, including interior and exterior shots, will make your business profile stand out and motivate customers to visit your business. In regards to the quality of the photos, Google says that photos on your profile should represent reality. That means no using filters or altering images in order to present an image differently than what your business actually is. So what kind of photos should you add to your business profile? You definitely want to be sure to have a photo of your logo on your business profile. This helps customers immediately recognize your brand. You can also add a cover photo. This tells Google that this is your preferred first image that you want to show your customers. However, setting a cover photo does not guarantee that it will be displayed in this first position. In addition to your logo and cover photo, you can also add other photos to help potential customers recognize all of your unique products, services, and business locations. Google recommends that businesses have at least three of the following photo categories. Exterior photos, interior photos, product photos, photos at work, food and drink photos, common areas, rooms, and team photos. And what about videos? In fact, in 2020, 96% of consumers increased their online video consumption, and 9 out of 10 viewers said that they want to see more videos from brands and businesses. Adding videos to your business profile can be a great way to show off your brand's personality. Another major feature of your Google business profile is Google reviews, and reviews are mission critical for two reasons. First, Google reviews help build credibility. When trying out a new business, every customer has a small amount of fear that the experience they're going to get might not live up to their expectations. Social proof can help worried customers get past their fears. If 500 people tell them a business is great, chances are the business is serious about providing a fantastic customer experience. If 500 Google reviews give a business five stars, then that customer will get the same impression. The second reason is that Google reviews help your SEO. It's not just customers who value reviews. Google's search engine algorithm also values reviews for the same reason. Hundreds of great reviews show that your business provides great services, and Google aims to provide the best results for every user search. Lots of glowing reviews means you have a better chance of ranking high for relevant search terms. Now, you may have seen some businesses publish posts to their Google business profile. Posting gives businesses the ability to promote products, offers, events, and sales. Here are three types of business profile posts. The first type is, what's new? This is a place for you to share general business updates and news about your company, content, new team additions, and so on. The next type is events. Got an event coming up, virtual or in real life? You have the opportunity to add your event to your Google business profile with all the details. And the third type is offers. Promote upcoming sales, discounts, and promotions. If you wish, you can make a discount solely for Google business profile. Is there any way to generate leads with your Google business profile? Yes, your business profile integrates with different partners that allow potential customers to book directly from your profile. Here's how you can get started. Start by signing into your Google business profile. If you have a multi-location business, click on the relevant location. Next, from the menu, click Bookings. If you don't see this option, it's possible that Bookings is not yet available in your area. If you do see this option, then sign up for the service with one of Google Business Profile's booking partners. It takes less than a week for the service to be set up on your Google Business Profile. Once this happens, your customers can start making appointments through the tool. Now, let's talk about how to optimize your business profile. Google gives businesses the ability to add descriptions to their profile. This is a 750 character summary of the services your business offers. Adding a description is a great way to help customers better understand the value that you provide. It's also important to set business categories. These categories show Google and prospective customers what kind of business you are so you can rank higher in relevant search results. Google allows you to select up to 10 categories for your business. A realtor that also does appraisals can choose categories like real estate agency and real estate appraiser. 
Your business profile can contain a treasure trove of valuable marketing materials. Glowing reviews from customers are a great way to promote your own business. The Google Business Profile Marketing Kit allows you to promote your reviews through posters, stickers, and social posts. The materials are customizable and are designed to help you show off the opinions of your happiest customers. If a customer has a question about your business, they have the option to ask a question on your business profile. These questions can be answered by a business owner or they can be answered by the public. We recommend that business owners stay on top of these questions. Otherwise, it's possible that they will get misleading or even incorrect answers to these questions. It's also possible that somebody might be abusing your Q&A section and using it to spread false information about your business. If this happens, you do have the option to flag the question and report it to Google. Can Google suspend your Google business profile? Yes. Google can suspend business profiles and user accounts that go against their guidelines. It's important to note that if a business profile does get suspended, Google does not provide specifics on the reasons why it was suspended. Google recommends replying to the email from them with information about your issues. For the best results in managing your business profile, you should represent your business as it's consistently represented and recognized in the real world across signage, stationery, and other branding. You should make sure your address and or service area is accurate and precise. Choose the fewest number of categories it takes to describe your overall core business. And there should only be one profile per business, as this can cause problems with how your information displays on Google Maps and search. Lastly, Claiming your Google business profile is just the first step. BirdEye helps you handle every aspect of the customer journey. With BirdEye, businesses can get more reviews, manage and respond to reviews from over 200 sites in a single dashboard, rank high in search results, manage listings across hundreds of sites, add web chat to communicate effectively, send mass text messages, and receive actionable insights through natural language processing. Find out how BirdEye can help your business drive growth with a free demo.